this is Liz. I'm a farmer and I help SARE manage some of our grants here in the North Central region. And if you're thinking of putting together a proposal, the first step is just to get an account on the SARE grant management website. So let's walk through how to do that. So normally when you're looking through the SARE website, you're at northcentral.sare.org. But when you're ready to apply, you actually go to projects.sare.org. This is our grant management system. And you're going to want to create an account, the bottom green button there. You're going to fill in all the things, right? Your email address, make up a username that you can remember. Uh, you're going to include your address and zip code. And I want to point out that it asks for demographic information, but none of this is tied to your actual applications. This is just so that the SARE staff and our team can figure out if we're doing a good enough job reaching the whole of American agriculture and people from across the farming and ranching community. You can decide which uh, e-newsletters you want to join so that you hear about grant opportunities as soon as they come out. And then you'll click register at the bottom. Once you've clicked register, you're going to see this screen where it tells you basically that you have to verify your email address. When you verify your email, you'll get a chance to set up your password. And once that's done, you're going to come back to this page and click log in. And you're going to enter your information. You might even click Remember Me. And then we're in. And we can go to Projects Home and get started on a grant proposal. The first thing you need to do is decide which grant you're applying for. So we start with our region. And we decide which grant program we're interested in. And we click through the different pieces of the puzzle here. We need a title. To add a title, we'd press the Edit Title button and type in whatever we're calling our project. And we press Save, the green button, always pressing Save. And then we need a description. We press Save again. And now we're ready for the main parts of the proposal. I'd encourage you to try clicking on these different sections so you can see how they work. So for instance, if we're looking at the main proposal section and we scroll down, we've got different sections um, for the different questions about people, about what problem you're trying to solve, what's your solution, etc. For each one of these, you're going to click on the green edit button. You're going to copy and paste in your answer, assuming you've already answered it in a Word document and been working on this for a while. You're going to press save. And now we don't have that angry red X. We've got a green check mark and we can move on to the next question. When we've worked on this as long as we want, we just scroll to the bottom and click proposal overview. And it brings us back to this main page and we can click on a different section that we want to work on. And after we've filled everything out, the submit proposal button will be green and we'll be able to press it. Right now, we've got a lot of work yet to do, so it's not ready yet. 